Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new video here on my channel. So in today's video guys we're going to be talking about Dirt 4 and uh, the new branding suite, catering staff, garages and many other Dirt 4 features that got revealed in a nice little guide. So anyway guys, we're going to go straight into it. So Codemasters have been releasing a, a little book called The Roadbook throughout all of the development of Dirt Rally and they even start releasing some, of the, some for their latest title, Dirt 4. Now, uh, in the latest one, we get a look at some of the new features coming when the game launches in June, June the 9th, if you aren't aware. Uh, some of these include the teams, the new, uh, brand new branding suite, facilities, and much more. So Codemasters have been releasing the roadbook on a weekly basis to show off the latest moments from the community, as well as to talk about new and upcoming features. So arguably one of the coolest features mentioned is the new branding suite. Here you can set up your team name, colours, numbers and livery designs, make your team unique and make it stand out against the rest. You won't also just see these designs on your vehicle, but on everything to do with your team, so on the clothing, um, service canopies and on your transport lorries. And yes, you will also be able to add your name and flag onto your car. It has been confirmed that you will not be able to completely design the livery yourself, uh, but you will be given the tools and patterns in-game to come up with your per perfect design. So don't expect uh, a creation studio just like the Forza livery editor. Within the branding suite you will be able to show off your sponsors, so when you first start your career you'll only have space for one, but the further you advance into your career, the more sponsorships you'll be given. The sponsor hoarding facility was also mentioned, and this acts as a hub for your sponsors. Here you can check their status and whether or not they are happy and so on. You'll also be given a PR agent, and they will be in charge of making sure that you get your new sponsors. Now, to own a successful race team, you will also need staff. And just like every team, you'll start small, and then have the ability to grow with your success. There was a similar feature in Dirt Rally where you could hire staff, however the feature wasn't really all that important, and the only major effect it seemed to have was on your repair time. But Dirt 4 seems to be putting a larger emphasis on your staff. Alongside the standard mechanics you'll need to repair your vehicles, there are also roles for some of the secondary modes. For example, you're going to need a spotter for Rallycross and Land Rush, and their job will be to feed you information on how you're racing, how the other drivers are doing, as well as advise you on doing certain things, like doing the Joker lap. Each member of staff will also have their own staff sheet, and here you can get to look at the information like what their skills are, how much they're costing you, as well as how long their contract will last. Every good team needs good facilities in order to maximise race efficiency, and as the team owner, you will be completely in charge of this. Managing your facilities will affect your team in various ways. For example, to hire more staff, you will need to purchase more accommodation for them to stay in. Purchasing more fourth space in your garage will allow you to store more vehicles, and even though you'll have to go for the effort of hiring catering, just to increase the happiness of your staff. This all costs money, so it will be up to you to make sure your money gets spent as efficiently as wisely as possible in order to increase team management and your race earnings. So let's talk a bit more about the... Uh, Garage, just for the very simple last bit for you guys today. So just like you'd expect, here you get to look at the vehicles you own, as well as look at the information such as the engine stats and little other things such as the mileage. Also, very, very pleased about this, we can now sell vehicles. So when you're, when you're starting, you can sell vehicles so you can purchase new ones for next season or the next championship. So that's all the information I've got for you in today's video, guys. I did hope you enjoyed it. So today, uh, I just brought you a bit of a, a bit of Dirt 4 information for you today. And if you'd like anything else regarding Dirt 4, please make sure to leave them down there in the comments below. And let me know whether you'll be picking up the game as well when it comes out on June the 9th. But anyway, guys, that is it for me in today's video. I did hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you ever in my next video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.